Do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. We've got a really great PS3 modding tutorial today. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to install the latest rebug 4.82.2 Dex firmware. It's been a while, it's been a couple months, but they finally have it and it's awesome. So I am actually running Dex firmware right now, 4.81.2. If you have Dex of a lower rebug, you can certainly upgrade to the latest and greatest and do it pretty easily. So what you want to do is go to rebug.me, click on this top link here. And then you can go ahead and read about the new features that's been implemented in the new Dex firmware. But basically, scroll all the way to the bottom and go ahead and click on this link right here for Rebug 4.82.2 DREX Edition. So, what it's going to do is going to be a zip file. I had that saved on my desktop. Inside the zip file is a text file. From the text file, you can get this HTTPS link to download that actual custom firmware. So, download to your desktop, for example. I already have a copy of it. And go ahead to your USB thumb drive or USB hard drive, format as FAT32. So if I plug in my thumb drive here, here's my thumb drive. All right, it has a folder called PS3. Inside that folder is update. And then inside that folder, you go and paste your custom firmware file and make sure you rename it as ps 3 updatepup just like this. Then afterwards, what you can do is go ahead, eject that USB thumb drive and then plug that thumb drive in the rightmost USB port on your PS3. And then in the next portion of the video tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to install it. It's pretty simple, it's pretty easy. And maybe at the end of this video, I'll show you how to go online and just prove that it, that also still works. So let's do this. All right, so here we are in my PS3, so let's do this. So to help save some time, I'm in the Rebug Toolbox, and I'm gonna show you my system information that my system is clearly DEX. So 4.81.2 actually, and it's DEX and DEX. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna quit out of this and we're just gonna go through the entire firmware installation process. Like I said before, make sure you have your USB thumb drive plugged in the rightmost port of your PS3, fat or slim, and let's do this. So we're gonna go to settings, system update, update via storage media, and then go ahead and just follow through the wizard basically. Um, because this wizard process does take a while, I will, edit the footage and sort of fast forward a little bit so it won't be so long. So we'll see how this process works as this uh, unfolds. Okay, so we're back at the PS3, so let's do this. So one of the first things we're gonna do is let's go ahead and install the latest Rebug Toolbox. So you can go to Package Manager, Install Package Files, System Storage, and just install that sucker. If you already have Rebug Toolbox, you can go ahead and reinstall on top of it. You're good to go. And let's just go back into the Rebug Toolbox and let's check some of my settings here. Okay, so system information, that looks good, DAX and DAX. Let's go over here and just change some of my settings to be consistent with what I had before. And let's check QA flag, that looks good. And let's quit back to the X and B screen. Okay, so we're back at the X and B screen, and let's just see if Webman Mod works, or Webman Games. And let's go to Setup, and we see that it doesn't load properly, probably because it's not updated yet for 4.82.2 DEX, so not a problem. So let's go to Rebug Toolbox, and I'll show you the other way to play online, basically, or get your console ready for playing online. So what you want to do is go to the very far end and scroll all the way down to the bottom, and then change your active PS3 ID, Select your EID 5. And then once that is completed, we're going to go back to the X and B screen after we see this message. And then what we're going to do for today's tutorial, I'm going to take a shortcut. You know, some people use PS Ninja, some don't. So I'm just going to go ahead and just use the PSN patch instead. So go here, go to PSN patch, press and hold down X 
and keep on holding down X until you hear your console beep basically. After it beeps, your console is gonna reboot or soft reboot actually, and it's gonna go back to the X and B screen. Okay, so we're back at the screen here, so let's go ahead and sign in. And if everything is working successfully, we'll sign in and we'll have no errors, no issues. Okay, great, we're in. We can see my friends. Uh, everyone is offline right now, but we can definitely see my friends list. And if I had mounted a game beforehand with Multiman, then I can go ahead, do that spoofing process load the game now and go ahead and play online so i forgot to do that step earlier but that's okay so that is today's ps3 tutorial how to install rebug 4.82.2 dex and also a quick tutorial on how to play online as well so if you guys have any nitpicky questions leave a comment here on the youtube page and i'll get back to you as soon as possible once again thank you for watching take care bye